to, hello you guys. So, I thought that I would do a urban legend. Now I know that I'm not the, I'm, sorry. I know that a lot of you probably, probably are thinking right now, what, Tiffany doing an urban legend on her channel? That doesn't sound like her. Yeah, I know that, but I was like, you know what? I just wanted to shake things up a little bit and change some things because I've done dance covers, singing covers, vlogs, challenges, and different videos like that. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just tell about an urban, le urban legend. So the urban legend that I'm going to tell you guys about is the Candyman. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Maybe you're not, but this is what I think you're thinking right now, you guys. I'm thinking, and probably you're thinking, like I said, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not thinking it. You guys are, probably. You guys are probably thinking, oh, the Candyman. He seems very nice and everything and gives kids candy when they're good or when they go over to the candy store or something. But that's not the case in this urban legend. So I'm going to tell you about an urban legend. So the Candyman. So if you go into your bathroom or, yeah, I think, yeah, you don't have to go in the bathroom. But if you go into a room or if there's a mirror where you can see yourself... You look, at, you look into that mirror, and you chant the name Candyman five times. He will appear in that mirror and kill you with his hook. So, I have read, it on, read up on it, and people have said that, that they've seen the Candyman, but just haven't had them just haven't had him kill them or whatever. So, I'm going to tell you about a story, I guess. I guess, uh, yeah, the can they say that the Candyman during slavery was real. He was a real man. But I'm just going to tell you about a few stories that people have said about the Candyman and what they've encountered and stuff. So, um, I'm going to read a little something and put it into my own words. Alright? So, they say that many years ago, the Candyman was a real man, like I said. He was, um... That This was in the days of slavery and everything. I guess he was a black slave named Daniel Robitaille. And I guess who worked on something during slavery in New Orleans or whatever. And he was a talented painter and was chosen by some some owner of something to paint a portrait of his daughter. And he... But Daniel fell in love with the daughter and I guess, so instead of just painting the thing for, painting the portrait of his daughter for the, for this man owner, for this man that ha, that is an owner of some place, he falls in love with her. Okay, so when the, I guess it's called the plantation, when the plantation owner discovers that Daniel, the candy man, um, fell in love with his daughter, and the daughter fell in love with him, he got into a really big argument with the, with Daniel, the candy man, with Daniel, and he told him, and, and he chased him out of town, like he made him go, you know, made him go out of town, everyone, like, the whole town heard about it, like, when you're in a small town, or when you're into the when you're in the world of slavery back then, I guess secrets don't really last that long as kept a secret. So, yeah. So I guess armed with like people that had pitchforks and pack of dogs and they chased the uh they chased Daniel all over the place into like the fields and everything. I guess they caught up with him during an old barn like in an old barn near an old barn. This is really gruesome, so I advise you, if you don't want to know about, like, the the real story of, like, about the Candyman and how he came to be the Candyman, or his nickname or whatever, then I don't want you, then you can plug your ears, or something, but, anyways, they caught up with him, he was very exhausted, Daniel was, and he, so I guess this, one of the people during that time 
or maybe it was the plantation order, I'm not sure, someone cut off his right hand and with a rusty saw, so. <laughs> and they covered him, like, his whole body in honey and threw him into a beehive. Now, if you get thrown into a beehive, you're most likely getting, get, gonna get stunned and die or whatever. So, unfortunately, I guess, I guess it says that like, what I read on it, I guess the Candyman, or slash Daniel, his real name was Daniel, he, he was in terrible pain after all that, and he died from his injuries of all the bee stings and everything, but this was probably before he got, he died or whatever, um, I guess when he died, he vowed for himself and put a curse on himself or whatever. I don't know what that means, or maybe it's not that. That's just what I think. I guess he cursed the men who killed him. So he, no, he didn't put a curse on himself. He cursed the men, all the men that killed him, all the ones who, that was in on killing him. He, yeah, he vowed, like he put a curse on the men who killed him and vowed to come back to life and get the, his revenge. Now, there's two things that you guys can think right now. One, his revenge is probably going to kill them. Or two, he just wants to make their life miserable. But that is probably not. So, uh, a lot of people say that his spirit would never rest. And now, his ghost walks the world for all eternity. Like, he walks everywhere. Like, you don't even know where he is or whatever. But he's dead and he's a spirit and all that. So, now his ghost walks the world of all eternity, like I said, and he is appearing every time his name is called five times. So if you call his name Candyman five times, then, you know. <laughs> so, remember, so you can say Candyman once, twice, three times, or four, but just don't say it five times or you'll be sorry, that's what it said, but... I mean, I don't know if I believe this, or if I don't believe this. I mean, I'm not really sure I believe that. Like, I don't really believe it that much. But you guys can like and comment down below. Letting me know if you believe this, and letting me know if you enjoy me talking about urban legends. And if you do, I'll do more. So that will, that will conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas. I did say I was going to do a video on what I got for Christmas but I was just really tired and I didn't have time to upload a video on Christmas and I didn't want to upload a video of what I got for Christmas and have it being two or three days or a week after Christmas so I thought I would do this video again like I said like this video and and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and let telling me and letting me know if you enjoy me doing urban legends and you telling me what you think, like, if you think this is true about the Candyman and the story about him and how he got discovered, so, hope you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, like I said, I know I said that, and I've, I've been repetitive, but just want to get the message out there, and, and, like always, you are all worth it, smile, the day will get better, and most importantly, stay positive, alright, I'll see you guys in my next video, bye guys. Oh, and before I go, I might post a video tomorrow after this video is uploaded. It might be uploaded the same day I uploaded, the same day I filmed for this video, but if it doesn't, it'll be uploaded the next day. So, when it's uploaded, I'll probably, I'll most likely do another video for you guys the next day. The next day after whatever day this uploads, okay? See you guys, bye. Most importantly, stay positive, smile the day, will get better, and you are all worth it, alright? See you guys in my next video.